All right. King's Avatar Season 2, Episode 9. Yes, you did some extraordinary double dealing here para makakuha siya ng materials. Right? Finally, he was able to upgrade his weapon. Umbrella talaga. Umbrella pala talaga ang tawag doon. Uh, it's now known as the Thousand Chance Umbrella. All right. We don't know what it does yet. Basta nakita natin sa final scene po una. Kompleto na sa upgrades. Kompleto na yung upgrades niya. And of course, um, he had to build. He had to build his own warehouse for his own guild, or for his own pro team, for that matter. So, yeah. Let's just see. He uh, tripled down on this episode. Okay? He just he tripled down okay? as uh, as both captain and guild admin. And really, there are a lot of funny moments. In his, uh, in his transactions, okay, in, in the negotiations. Yung isang din dito eh, concerning a boss, yung one boss. Kung baga, within an inch of its life na eh, hindi ba, hindi ba niya pinapapatay doon sa bago niyang kasama? Kasi gusto niyang may, gusto niyang may, ma, may matuloy pang deal eh. O yun, nung natuloy yung deal, binigay na nila yung boss. <laughs> binigay na nila yung boss. O sige, patayin niyo na yan. Sa inyong, inyong, inyong na yan. As, as long as we have the materials, yeah. this is how much of uh, how much of uh, what you call this depth. This is experience talking in this episode. Okay, Yeshu's experience as a pro player is wow. It's at the forefront of this episode. All right. So you uh, know, the post final scene, he plans to enter a guild as a spy. Kaya, balak, balak niya bumili ng ano eh, na, balak niya bumili ng account. Dapat night. So, talagang he's going to, he's going to enter that guild as a spy. Talagang i-infiltrate, i-infiltrate niya. So, doon nagtapos yung episode. Overall, yeah, it's a really good episode. <laughs> At saka dapat lang, alright? We're on the road to the season 2 finale. Okay? We've already, uh, the path, we're already treading that path since episode 8. Nung ni-recruit niya si, uh, si Lau, si, ano? Si Lau Wei. Si Lau Ye. Okay? Nung, in, nung, basta si Lau. Nung ni-recruit niya si, si Lau, yung retired veteran. Ni-recruit niya. That's the, that's the road to the, that's where the road to the finale started. And, well, Rightfully so, it is a really good episode kasi malapit na magtapos ang King's Avatar. Alright? So, ilang weeks na lang ba yun? Well, I'll just check it. I'll just check it later. Sa, after the review. So, again, it's a, uh, it's a really good episode. And if you missed out on it, you would probably not, not laugh all day. You would probably not laugh for the rest of the day. Alright? It, it's, it's, really, it's, a, it's a really entertaining episode. Right, so the King's Avatar season two, episode nine. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. Because basically, I enjoyed watching this episode. All right, gusto gusto ko talaga yung pagiging ane, yung pagiging uh, negosador ni Yeshu <laughs> on how he acquires his his uh, his loots, his weapons, even. His even his guildmates and his uh, and and uh, and players for his pro team. I love the way he does it. All right, talagang uh, kung bagay hindi naman cloud eh. He uses his status as as the king. Okay, yung tawag yun ang tawag sa kanya minsan eh. Bilang master ng glory to in order to get what he wants. Yung yun yung pinaka leverage niya. Right and. I simply love it. I simply love it. So again, The King's Avatar Season 2 Episode 9. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. You can actually learn some uh, some negotiation tips in this episode. Kaya, if I were you, if you haven't watched this episode, I fucking watch it. Alright? Or, of course, you, you're gonna miss out. Alright, 
I'm standing on 1 million lives episode 7. Mm. Quite an empowering one, I should say. Kasi... Uh, ilang beses na deads si, si Yusuke rito. Ilang beses siyang na deads. Just by climbing, just by climbing that wall. Okay? Ilang beses yata siyang na deads nun. It slowly uh, brought him back to the time where no one wants him for a friend. Uh, basically, uh, basically, <clears throat> nagkaroon ng wake-up call si, si Yu at saka si Yusuke. Okay? In the face of a crisis, alright? And Yu has a new job. Okay? Kumbaga, kombinasyon na siya ng warrior at wizard. So, in the in in fairy tale terms combat wizard siya <laughs> combat wizard <clears throat> then Yusuke was able to rescue Cavill ayun buhay then nag strategy nag strategy session sila right final scene Yusuke wants them to split up <laughs> wait <laughs> ang ang mukha ng ang mukha ng tatlong babae na kasama niya Grabe. <clears throat> and he gets a kiss from Cavill <laughs> while he was uh, while, while he was dead tired on the floor <laughs> alright little ang comic relief ng episode na to alright and well the action sequences mo uh, talagang masasay mong ano eh masasay mong uh, believable okay believable siya so yeah Overall, uh, it's a really good episode. Okay, to my surprise, it's a really good episode. Okay, because for for me, medyo hindi maganda yung naging start na episode, but um, the pacing, the flow, yung, yung plot okay nandon, nandon nandon eh. It's medyo established na yung plot eh. The pacing and the flow, yeah, it's really okay. Uh, look, it looks really good. Then, um, Yusuke is also slowly, um, what you call this, accepting the fact that he is the leader of this group. Party, in, uh, in online gaming terms. He is, he, he is the leader of this party. So, medyo tanggap na niya. Medyo tanggap na niya. Although, in, in, in the final scene, in, uh, hindi, hindi, hindi yata katanggap-tanggap yung decision yung decision niya sa tatlong sa tatlo niyang kasama all right so another another funny moment yung facial expressions lang nila natawa 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 ako so what so i'm standing on 1 million lives episode 7 two thumbs up all right <clears throat> hey uh what you call this uh, a near death two thumbs up. All right, a near death. Okay. Nagkaroon ng near death experience si Cavill. Nagkaroon din ng near death experience si Yusuke. Through saving Cavill. So, yun ang ano din eh. Uh, that was I think that was the highlight of the episode when he was uh, when he was trying desperately to to save Cavill. Kasi alani ng ng saksak sa kanya ng gargoyle. Eh. Malalim talaga, fatal. Oh, talagang masasabi mong fatal yung fatal wound siya. Ano, ikamamatay niya kung hindi siya sinagip ni ni Yusuke. So, yeah, and it's a very empowering episode kasi um Yusuke and you both realized na dapat they should, they should they should press on. They should grind for for this uh for this quest. They should know. They should actually know. They should know their self worth. Parang gano. They should know their self worth deep down. Because it's crucial to this. It's crucial to the game they're in now. Eh. Kaya nga, I'm standing on one million lives. Ang title. All right. Because yung buong outside world na ka. Yung fate ng buong outside world na ka patong sa kanilang balikat eh. And the outside world doesn't know it. So, yeah. That's why I gave it that rating. So again, 
I'm standing on one million lives, episode seven. Two thumbs up. Right? It deserves it. it. Deserves the two thumbs up. All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, episode twenty-four. Red Eyes is back. <laughs> Pero um, uh, it's sad to see. It was. Uh, I felt really sad. Nung nakita ko si Yuga na. You know, he's in, he, he was in a funk. Uh, all through majority of the episode, he was in a funk. Okay, to the point na. You know, so si Roa. Well, uh, and and well, to my surprise, Roa landed an ear. Okay, Roa landed an ear. Um, talagang ano niya? Uh, talagang ginamdam niya yung loss niya kay Neil. Pero kung titingnan yung ah, if there is a new summoning method, okay. Goha could have could have published the mechanics of it right away. But since Neil is the overseer of duels, hindi pa niya ginagawa. Okay? Wala nakakaalam kundi sa kan- wala nakakaalam kundi Team Sevens at saka si Neil lang. Sila lang nakakaalam, pero hindi. You gang gang now know that there is a summoning method. There is a new summon mechanic. Pero, the procedure on how to go about it is unknown. Except for Neil. Now, you tell me. Pandaraya ba yun? O hindi? Okay. Did Neil formulate the maximum summon just to beat Yuga? Talagang with the sole purpose of with the sole purpose of beating Yuga at his own game? Pwede. Kasi hanggang ngayon, hindi pa pinapublish ang yung, yung procedure on how to on how to do the maximum summon. Si Neil lang ang nakakaalam. Alright. So, in my own in my own opinion, talagang Neil wants to screw Yuga over. Alright. So, overall, maganda ang episode na to. Alright. Given the uh, the leverage Neil now has over the Rush Duel format, he can do anything. Okay? Even cheat. Even screw Yuga out of the win. Okay? Kasi hindi ba niya pinapub- hindi ba napapublish yung exact procedure on how to do the maximum summon eh. Dapat public knowledge na yun by this time. But no. Neil hasn't done that yet. He wants to keep it all to himself. Talagang swapang eh. Okay? Swapang na, mandaraya pa. So, that, that, um, that's what the flow and the th- the pacing of this episode told me. Okay? So, yeah, may, medyo emotional. Again, overall, it's a really good episode and an emotional one. Right? <clears throat> and did you see the way um uh excuse me the way got to do with Otis despite Otis having a red eyes deck <laughs> grabe may blue eyes deck na siya may red eyes deck pa siya ano ba yan wow he looks like Seto Kaiba now he's now he's trying to be like Joey Wheeler <laughs> or si Pumuki Tenjuin I don't know. know. Alright? But, Otis's brain is so complicated, okay? The only, probably, the only one who, who has something on him is Neil. But, that's yet to be seen. Alright? So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 7. Two thumbs up. A, welcome back, Red Eyes. Type of two thumbs up. And another thing, kaya ako binigyan ng ganong rating kasi bumalik na si Red Eyes, alright? Bumalik na si Red Eyes. Last time we saw the Red Eyes Archetype in an in the in the anime, 
sa GX pa. Sa GX pa natin huling nakita ang, is- ang isang red ice deck. Yun ang ginagamit ni Pumuki. Ni Pumuki Tenjuin. So that was the last time. Ang tagal na nun. That was... Um, more than a decade ago. <laughs> That was the last time we saw someone use a red ice deck. Si Pumuti. And of course, uh, the first one to use it, si Joey Wheeler. He's known as Joey Wheeler in the US uh, in the US version of the Yugi of uh, of the Dual Monsters anime. He's known as Joey. Kahit sa kahit dito sa Pilipinas, he's known as Joey Wheeler. Right? So again, Yu-Gi-Oh 7's episode episode 7, episode 24 pala. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 24! Two thumbs up! Alright? Now, uh, the next episode has been teased and it looks like a, a really good one. Looks like a really good one. So, tutok na mga ka-lifestyle! Tutok na! Alright, King's Raid episode 7. Uh... They deviated from, from the usual uh, storyline, which is they concentrate on the party ni castle, and they concentrate, they focus this episode now on the Black Edge, the group of the Dark Elf. Um, while while Team Castle was busy is busy looking for the sword out there. The Black Edge is slowly gaining influence sa Orvelia. So, may bakal kasi sila dun. And of course, the hatred for Black Elves still uh, still exists. Uh, uh, medyo relevant. Ang, medyo relevant ang episode na to with, when it comes to current times. I'll explain later. Final scene, well, we know. We now know who. Uh, well, no, no, we now know. The real enemy has just showed itself, right? Siguro disciple ng disciple ni Lord ni Ang Mundito. Okay, from a dead body, something comes, something comes back to life. Right? That was creepy. It didn't show. It didn't show. Uh, in, it didn't show kanina, but. Deep inside, yeah, it almost creeped me out. Right. Overall, it's a um, yeah, it's a decent episode. It's a decent episode. Um, the pacing is um, pacing is very decent because well, the um, all this the anime. Uh, the anime showed a uh, side story. Okay. Probably the biggest side story of this anime, which is the Black Edge. Talaga na focus yung na focus yung episode sa kanila on how uh, how they operate, how they um, how they do business with humans, and how they're being uh, they're being prejudiced, right? More like um, I can actually compare that to Black Lives Matter. Right? People are willing, more than willing, to kill them, all in the name of well, uh, all in the name of justice. All right? Because si Ilya Dark Elfion, yung kinakapatid ni King Kyle, right? You know, you know, you know the whole story. Man. If you're, if you follow this anime, you know the, you know the backstory. You know the backstory. To that. So, but I don't know. Um, we could have made the anime could have made a strong case for the Black Edge becoming uh, that might become uh, reluctant allies to to Castle's party once they return. But uh, it's yet to be seen because eh, eh, this anime is slated for 26 episodes. So, we're not going to be able to do it. But 
overall, like I said, it's a decent episode. Right? It's a decent episode. But they could have done more. Right? They should have um, presented a strong case that probably the Black Edge would, would, would be reluctant allies for, for Castle and his party. So, King's Raid Episode 7. <clears throat> Hindi ko mabigyan ng kahit one thumb up because like I said uh, a few seconds ago, they could have, uh, the animators could have presented a strong case for the Black Edge being, becoming reluctant allies. Right? Kasi dito mas, nakita, nakita nyo nung key visual. Nakapicture, nakapicture yung dalawang faction. Right? So, it strongly suggests that down the road of this anime, they may become allies. They can become allies. Pero, um, sana, the animators could have uh, presented is, uh, at, least a, at least a case that will lead to that. A case for the Black Edge to, to become unlike the allies. The <sighs> Excuse me. So, yun ang reason ko kung bakit Ganun ang rating ko sa episode na to. Again, King's Raid Episode 7. Yeah. But, um, the next episode has been teasered, so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling my hopes on that. Right? I hope, uh, this, I hope this anime goes back to goes back to at least a one thumb up after after this episode right they should present a strong case as to um, why the black edge should become uh, should become staunch allies with team castle you know Yashahime episode 7 Pumalit tayo sa episode 1 <laughs> I love how uh, I love how This episode went back to episode 1 Where, where it all started okay? Kaya pala na Kaya pala para nakatali si Toa Pinagbintangan pala siya nagnakaw Alright Hindi na ako yung totoong uh, Juki, uh, what's that? The Juki sword, alright? Yung nasa kanya kasi, fake yun. Madali na putol. Yung binigay sa kanya ng totoong nagnakaw, yun ang totoo. Alright, yun yung totoo. So, Setsuna and Moroha were able to rescue her. At minapatay pa silang demon. So, nabisto nila yung parang maliit na tao. Si Yotsume pala yun, yung owl speak, yung owl demon. Yung apat ang, yung kwago na may apat ang mata. Alright. So, like in episode 1, kinabod din nila yun. Okay. These were the same scenes. Okay? Kumbaga, episode 7 was a, is a condensation of episode 1. Kasi alam natin lahat, ang episode 1 eh, uh, nag-concentrate sa yung pinaka-origin story ng, anim, ng spin-off na to. Pinaka-origin story. That's why we're able to see Inuyasha, Kagome, from the original series, alright? The characters we all knew and loved as fans, alright? <clears throat> Overall, it's a really, really good episode, okay? Hindi ko akalain na iik- na, bab- na iikot din pala na babalik din pala ang story na to, story na to sa episode 1. Okay? So this explains why Toa is being uh is being questioned like a prisoner kasi nakatali ang kamay niya eh. Right? So wow, okay? I love the flow, the pacing and uh of course 
action sequence yung yung tabuhan ng polar bear na nakalaban nila Setsuna at uh, Moro ha yung pala uh, ang main body nun nandun lang sa mansion na pinag na pinaglalagay ni Towa nakita ni Towa so si found a way to found a way to um, to catch that spirit off guard para ma-detect nila, nila Setsuna at Moro ha kung nasan talaga yung tunay na yung tunay na katawan nun so yun Natuntunan siya, natuntunan siya nila to, nila, nila Moro Katsetsuna. Alright? So, they came to our rescue in the process. Yung nga yun. Kaya, yung flow ng story, impeccable. Okay. Impeccable yung flow ng story. So, Yashahime Episode 7. Two thumbs up. Alright? A culminative Two thumbs up. Alright? <clears throat> like, I, like I said kanina, I like the way the story went back to episode 1. Okay? So, kung maga uh, explainer ito kung bakit, ako, <laughs> bakit parang uh, parang bihag, bihag pa si Towa. And how was um, and how were Setsuna and Moro uh, was how they were able to rescue her. Alright? So, ang ganda, ang ganda yung maganda yung naging flow ng story eh. Okay? So, again, Yashahime Episode 7, two thumbs up. Right. Two thumbs up. Seen the teaser for the next episode. Mukhang maganda rin eh. Right? Mukhang maganda rin. I cannot wait how will um, how will the hunting down how will the hunting down of Yotsume will uh, will will call me? Okay? Paano matatapos ito? Paano nila uh, uh, Paano nila ma madadakip si Yotsume? I really want to know. So I am going to watch that next episode. All right. Waters of Secret Dripa episode 7. The mission has failed. Evacuation na. But, um, Amatsuka decided to volunteer for one last stand. Uh, rescue mission. Uh, final scene, a Valkyrie returned. But it wasn't Amatsuka. Pinadala na lang sa kanya yung yung Pendant, pendant na kinuha niya kay, kay Sono ka para, siyempre, for good luck. Pinadala sa kanya, doon sa nakabalik na Valkyrie, pina, pinasusuali kay Sono ka. Ayun. It's a sign na uh, Amatsuka, Amatsuka was killed in action. Sign yun na patay na siya. Right? And, um, medyo, medyo sad ako talaga kasi, um, one of the original, ano yun eh, uh, one of the original, uh, Tatayama Valkyries. She's one of the original. Yung isa, si Sonoka. Right? And, well, dami na nungkot, the enemy unleashes unleashes a a scary weapon wipes out uh, the majority of the strike force na susugod sa main sa primary pillar Odin is missing right he refused to answer uh, General o General Okita's question questions he refused to answer them scumbag Kaya yun, ang dami na matay. Okay. May mga namatay pang Valkyrie. Alright. Overall, it's a really good episode. Medyo, uh, it's probably uh, the anime, it's probably this anime's saddest episode. Alright, right now. It just beat the, it just beat 
the episode that had the lullaby, the, the lullaby scene. It just beat it by leaps and bounds. Kasi talagang... Their forces, the for, their forces were nearly wiped out. And the flow, pacing, understandable. Kasi, rot war ne. Talagang, ano ne, talagang busbuhay na lahat ng Valkyrie dito. Right? They, they, they got no time to fool around. They got no time to fool around. So, Warlords of Secret Rifa, episode 7. Two thumbs up. Kasi, well, um, it's a truly sad episode. Kasi nga, uh, yung isa nilang, yung bago nilang kasama si Amatsuka, patay na. She never came back, she never came back alive. And we almost lost Sonoka. Okay? We almost lost Sonoka in this episode. So, kumbaga, di ba na sila nun, puntik na maging tatlo na lang. Eh, yun nga. Oh, uh, Amatsuka's dead. Hmm. Sorry guys, it's medyo... So, Sonoka is dead. Yung little sister niya si Sonoka, ano si Sonoka? Amatsuka is dead, and her little sister Sonoka is grieving right now. So, it really leaves you that question of, will there, will there still be hope of downing the primary pillar? Baka matapos na to. Is there an end to this war? Yan ang pinakamalaking tanong dyan. Because of, uh, in light of what happened in this episode. Kaya, nadadala ka eh. Ako, ako nadadala nga ako. Nadadala nga ako sa episode na to. The emotions it, uh, it brought out from me, yeah, it warranted the two thumbs up. So again, Warlords of Secret Drifa, Episode 7. Two thumbs up. A, um, two thumbs up with a heavy heart. Namatay na ng Valkyrie. Namatay na tayo ng Valkyrie in this anime. So, uh, next episode has been teasered. Let's just wait, alright? Let's just wait. But, Trust me when I say that this anime is getting it's getting more exciting because of what happened. Because of what happened in the in the last two episodes. It's getting more exciting so hindi ba natutukan to? Tumutok na kayo. Tumutok na kayo. Alright. Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 7. <clears throat> Talagang in-expect ko na magkakaroon ng ganong klaseng away between a Jujutsu Sorcerer and a Cursed Spirit. Pero, wow! Okay? <clears throat> nagpakita, ng, nagpakita ng lakas dito si Gojo. Grabe palang lakas niya! Okay? Yung kalaban niya, ang tema, Volcano. Okay? Siya naman, reality. Okay? Reality bending. That's why it was... Paris sa kanya. <laughs> Paris sa kanya si, you know, si Volcano Game. Yun ang tawag, yun tawag niya doon eh. Si, si Jugo. Yung baka na ng first spirit. But he calls him Volcano Head. <laughs> oh. Grabe. Wala akong masabi. Buta o OP. OP na OP si Gojo. No wonder he's um no wonder he's a mentor. Okay? No wonder he's a um he's a teacher at this uh yung at this school for jujutsu sorcerers. Talaga malakas siya. Grabe. And he even brought Yuji to the fight with him. Kumaga binaligan pa niya dun sa sa taguan ni Yuji. Pinuha siya doon. Ayun. Pinakita. Pinakita pinakita kay Yuji kung gano'n siya kalakas. On, um, on how, uh, what you call this? On how domain expansion works. Isang first technique. 
Grabe. Talagang... Overall, it's a mind-blowing episode. Okay? It's a mind-blowing episode. The, uh... I'm not gonna say the, uh, the animation, okay? I'm not... I go, I go, I go more for the storyline, alright? The pacing, the flow, the plot, carry over from, carry over from last episode kasi ito eh. So, wow, okay? Ang ganda ng pacing. Ang ganda yung pacing niya. And the fight sequences, wow, okay? Simply mind-blowing. Mind-blowing ang fight scene niya. With uh, with Jogo, ni ni Gojo, mind blowing ang fight scene. Grab na kaya episode nato. Grab it talaga. And who's this new who's this new villain? Okay. Who's this new villain? I really want to know that. I really want to know that. Uh, in, in the next episode, who who this guy really is? Okay. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode seven. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up pa rin. You know, you guys wanna know why? You guys wanna know why? Simply because of the fight scene and how OP Yuji's mentor is. Okay? <clears throat> grabe, grabe ang lakas. Grabe ang lakas siya rito. He can bend reality. Alright? With, a, with an ability like that, kung curse spirit ka, lumayas ka na dun. Huwag mo na pang harapin siya kalabanin. And, he wants Yuji to fight him after a month. As a, as a final exam. <laughs> Grabe. Sa distant teacher. <laughs> Sa distant teacher, si Gojo. Grabe. So, Again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 7, two thumbs up. A mind blowing two thumbs up. Can't wait for the next episode. I really can't wait for the next episode. My my mind is simply blown away right now. Kaya ganun ang account yung review ko. <laughs> Sense na guys. Now. Moriarty the Patriot episode 6 Okay I'll get back to you Red Panda Let me finish this review first, okay I hope you've read the rules May rules are tayo rito Alright So What can I say about this episode? Devilish Okay As usual Moriarty and his gang Are at it again Okay Oh, echoing why am I echoing? Hmm. Okay. So, something urgent has been brought to my attention. Sandali lang guys, ha? Echoing daw ako eh. Oh, okay. Now I know why it's... Uh, now I know why it's echoing. Kasi... Uh, monitor only. I need it to be on monitor only. Okay? Para hindi mawala yung uh, desktop audio. Para hindi mawala ulit desktop audio ko. But anyway, ilalayo ko na lang ang um, mic. And I'll lower the volume. Now, <clears throat> again, Warrior did the Patriot episode 6. The Moriarty's and gang are at it again. <clears throat> Pero well, this is part one of a uh, part one of a mini arc. Okay, alat ang alat na we just we just got into a mini arc. Eh. Masaya na alagay part one, right? <clears throat> Probably um, they're up against the most psychotic nobleman they have ever faced. And Sherlock Holmes makes his debut. Yan. Okay. That's why. Uh, that's why uh, I got. 
I got really uh, what's it called this? I got uh, I got really excited during the first first part of this episode. Chahane, tapatay, okay? Meron silang asset dito na yun ang pinatay ng corrupt ng nobleman na yun. Okay, si si Lord Enders ang ano eh, Si Lord Enders ang target nila na nobleman. Ito kasi yung asset nila, wanted criminal to. Alright? Wanted siya. So, pumayag siya na, ano na, magsabahin siya ng mga Moriarty. Alright? Play acting. Kailangan, kailangan bisitin ng Lord Enders na to. Eh, ayun nga. Yun pala, utak ina. May pagka, I don't know, if, I don't know if this guy is Jack the Ripper or what. Nasasarapan siyang pumatay ng tao. Alright? He kills the Moriarty's asset and all of a sudden, James comes in. Ayun, nakakita niya. Ako, witness tuloy sa isang crime si... Uh, ang ating bida. O, di nakakita ni Lord Enders. Ooh! <laughs> Anong gagawin sa akin ito? Ano, Ilanaglan ba ako nito? <laughs> That's where the episode ended. But, overall, okay, Overall, it's a devilishly good episode. Okay? Nag-umpisa na ang screw job nila kay, kay Lord Enders dito. And of course, the debut of Sherlock Holmes. Okay? Nagpakita na si Sherlock Holmes. So, kumbaga nagtagi sa sila ng talino ni ano rito eh. Ni, ni James Moriarty. So, I love the pace. Okay? I love the pace. Kumbaga, Nag-start kasi ang episode na to with a hunting scene. At ang at ang hunted ay isang tao. All right? Which okay, I find it disturbing. Okay? I really find it disturbing. Ito pala yon si Lord Enders. Grabe. The pacing, the flow. Wow, impeccable. Okay? As if I am actually watching a Sherlock Holmes movie. Okay. I've been, uh, well, has anybody seen uh, the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movie? Has anybody seen it? Okay. That is nothing, alright? Compared to the old Sherlock Holmes movies no araw. 60s, 70s, up to, hindi, wala naman yung 80s eh. Yan, 60s and 70s, alright? Yun na talaga mga ganda. Those were... This episode actually reminded me of those movies. Ganun na ganun ang start. Ganun na ganun ang start. It, it starts with a... It starts with a... It starts with a crime being committed. Tapos, who done it, who done it, stop na. Alright? This episode reminded me of that. Woo! Grabe. Grabe. Alright? <clears throat> the pacing, of course, of course, the plot, right? It's it's a crime genre. Okay? This anime belongs to the crime genre. Dapat lang magat, dapat lang maganda ang plot. Okay? Dapat lang maganda ang plot. Wow, grabe. Now, here's another thing. Okay. Here's another thing about that, uh, about this episode. <clears throat> you talk about Mission Impossible. Yup, it also reminded me of that. Pero, uh, from a from a criminal from a criminal's point of view, si Moriarty, si William J. Moriarty, the Lord of Crime. Okay, so ayan na naman yung kanyang yung yung devilish look sa mata niya when he saw um. When he saw Lord Enders over over the one he just killed. Apatay, o di siya na siya lang nakakita eh. Si, Mor- si Moriarty lang nakakita eh. Na, si Lord Enders ang pumatay dito eh. Doon sa, sa asset nila eh. Pero hindi alam ni Lord Enders yun na, na talagang tuta nila yun. Tuta nila yung pinatay niya. Hindi, hindi niya alam yun. Right? For me, the school job has just begun. Okay? It did not end with their with their assets death. It has just begun. All right. 
Showtime. Showtime, folks. So, more Yardy the Patriot, episode 6. Two thumbs up and a big toe. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? <clears throat> um, talk has been started kung ano yung dark horse ng fall anime season. Alright? Um, Gigok uh, over at YouTube has, uh, has told everybody that the, that the dark horse is Akudama Drive. Alright? Pero for me, yeah, you can consider Akudama Drive a dark horse kasi ang talagang hype na hype ngayon is Jujutsu Kaisen. But for me, there are two dark horses. Akudama Drive and this one. More Yard the Patriot. You know what? <clears throat> Ako. Alright. I have been <clears throat> a casual fan of the crime genre ever since Lupin the Third. Okay. Any Lupin the Third fans here, raise your hands. Okay. Kahit gumamit lang kayo ng emotes. Okay. Just raise your hands. If you're tapos lagay nyo. Yung emote nyo tapos Lupin the Third. Ako. Lupin the Third fan ako. Alright? Lupin the Third fan ako. Lupin the Third is actually the poster boy of the crime genre. Alright? Of course, created by the late great Monkey Punch. God bless it. God bless you, Monkey Punch. Thank you for Lupin the Third. Thank you for Lupin the Third. But anyway, let's get back. It's because of Akodama Drive and Moriart the Patriot that the crime genre is back in style. Okay? It's because of these two anime that the crime genre is back in style. Okay? Kahit pasupot-supot na lang si Lupin the, ang Lupin the Third eh. Kasi Lupin the Third the First. We all know. Have you seen that, have you seen that movie? Lupin the Third the First? I have. <laughs> Siyempre. Pansa ko ni Lupin. Baba you detective. <laughs> May I see the look? <laughs> sino, ba, sino, ba yung nagbo, sino ba yung nagboses na yung kay, Lu, kay Lupin sa 7, ano? I really wanna know who that... I really wanna know who... Who Lupin's voice actor is here. Alright? I really wanna know. Okay? I'm going to personally... I'm going to personally shake his hand and probably do this. <laughs> ang galing eh. Okay? Ang astig. Ang astig. But anyway, let's get back to this anime. Alright? The reason why I gave it a two thumbs up because well, the plot is a all right. The impeccable plot is a no-brainer. All right, the pace, the flow, and the delivery of the characters. And of course, yung pagkaka introduce kay Sherlock Holmes dito. Okay? Yung pagkaka introduce sa kanya. It's a um, somewhat crucial. Pero, din rush up na lang ni Moriarty as, nah, non-factor do. Sige, tuloy yung plano. Sinabi, sinabi niya kay Moran. Moran, and, they're this guy specialist, yung malik na, yung malik na lalaki. They post, they're posing here as bellboys, as bellhops. Lalo na lang si Moran. Siya kasi ang point man ng asset nila. Nung wala na asset nila, napatay. Napatay ng target nila. So, yun nga, sinabi ni... Sinabi ni Moran. <coughs> will, he, will he be a threat? Parang gano'n ang nangyayon eh. <coughs> sabi ni... Sabi ni James. No, he won't be a threat. Ito na yung plan. Okay. So, the way he... Um, the way he put aside Sherlock Holmes, pero hindi pa sila nagka... Hindi pa sila nagka... Alaman ng pangalan eh. Kung baga... Yeah, nagtagay sa na sila ng talino. Alright. Because Sherlock, well, we all know that Sherlock Holmes is a master of deduction. Okay. He's a master of deduction. Yun ang ginamit niya to impress some ladies. To impress some, uh, to impress some, uh, some women. Alright. Si Moriarty naman, na-impress to sa spiral staircase kasi nga mathematician siya eh. He's a math professor. Okay. He's a math professor. Kaya medyo na-interest. Kasi yung a spiral staircase is a um, is a perfect example of the golden what tinatawag na golden ratio. Okay. It's a um uh, hindi ko masyado talaga familiar sa golden ratio eh. but 
It's a staple in the field of architecture and engineering. The golden ratio. Pero, uh, it's also a mathematical principle. That's why Nor Moriarty knows this very well. So, na-impress sa spiral staircase. Kumaga, perfect interpretation siya ng golden ratio. Right? So, Moriarty the Patriot, episode 6. Again, two thumbs up. A hellishly good two thumbs up. I just can't wait for part 2 of this arc. Of this mini arc. Gusto ko talaga malama ko nung kung paano nila kung paano nila titibagin si Lord Enders eh. Gusto ko talaga malama ko paano nila titibagin to eh. Remember, they're on a cruise ship. They are on a cruise ship. Daming tao. Ang daming potential witnesses sa gagawin nila. So, yeah. I really wanna I really wanna see how they're going to pull this off. Right, Ikebukuro Westgate Park Episode 7. Muntik na, muntik na dumana ang dugo. <laughs> but, this ep if there's a highlight in this episode, it would probably be, um, Makoto finally shows how ruthless he can be. Okay? He has finally met Shadow, and pinak pinakiusapan niya si Shadow na, uh, mga lumpuhin si hero to si knight second in command ni, ni king okay. Inut inutos niya kay, kay shadow for free okay. kasi yung ginagawa ng yung nung nagpapanggap na shadow well, it's sort of discrediting him so, tumulong na rin si shadow sa sa pag clear sa pangalan niya and well it's those same thugs in the OK Holdings case. <laughs> they want, uh, they want revenge on the G Boys, particularly si Makoto at si King. Sinang dalawa. Eh, sila nga naman ang nagplano na expose sila. Eh. Sinang dalawa talaga nagplano eh. So, uh, in order for Makoto to, to successfully quell the impending war. Humingi siya ng tulong sa G-Boys. Ah, G-Boys. Sa Red Angels. Through their help. Ayun, natigil. Natigil. And, uh, the real perpetrators, well, they were eventually caught. Shadow also helped. <laughs> ganda yun, ganda yun, ganda yun. Ganda yung, ganda yung kinilabasan ako ng episode na to. Okay? Ganda yung kinilabasan ng episode na to. And there's a, uh, and the conspiracy theory that the G-Boys are part of the Underworld? No, no, they're not part of the Underworld. They are a vigilante group. Okay? In, in, kasi in-invite sila ni... In-invite ni Shadow si King na sumali sa Underworld kasi he comes from that eh. He comes from that. Uh, if, you, if you want to join... Niya, if you want to join the Underworld, I can, uh, I can pull some strings for you. Sabi niya. Kasi kung niking bakit pa? We're already serving justice here. <laughs> so overall, yeah, it's a it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode, and it shows to uh, to all of us na if you want <clears throat> na if you want to stop a war as much as possible, do it uh, do it through do it through nonviolent means. Kaya nga, you want to stop a war, eh. Violent, kasi violence begets violence, okay? Another moral lesson that, uh, that I saw in, in this anime through this episode, alright? It's a really good episode. Pacing, ayos. Ayos siya. Uh, the flow, the, uh, of course, the plot. Okay, magandang plot kasi part 2 na to, yun, mini arc. It's part 2 of a mini arc, so natapos dito. And, um... Oh, and it's also because uh, what happened, medyo sikat ng Red Angels ngayon. Alright. So, Ikibukuro Westgate Park, Episode 7. Two thumbs up. Alright. Two thumbs up. Bakit? Alright. I'll give you my number one reason. Makoto has showed his ruthlessness here. <laughs> okay? 
King is not King is not the only person who can who can who can strike those kinds of deals. Kahit si Mako to, kaya kaya niya. <laughs> so, para siguro para ilagay si ilagay si Hero to sa lugar niya. Ayun. Yeah, um, it was a it was a chance uh, conversation kasi with uh, with Shadow kasi nakikiusap din si Shadow na na linisin naman ang pangalan niya. It, it it's not how he, it's not how he operates. So, kasi eh, syempre, reputation is important. Whether you're whether you're whether you're a consultant, whether you're uh, a politician, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a whether you're a big celebrity, whether you're a criminal, all right? Reputation is always important. Yan, isa pang lesson yan. Isa pang life lesson yan. Na na natutunan ko sa episode na to. All right? So yun, that's that 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 for me. That is the highlight of this episode. Makoto shows his ruthless side. <laughs> Talagang pinakiusapan niya si si Shadow na lumpuhin si Hero to. Ayun, nasa hospital niya yun. <laughs> Kaya siguro, he's, he's sending a message to Hero to na dapat lumugar siya. Hanggat si, hanggat si King ang namumuno sa G-Boys, he cannot, he cannot, uh, he cannot run the show. As long as King is the leader of the G-Boys. Yan, yan, yan yung message na talagang gusto niyang i... na gusto niyang isaksak sa utak ni Hero to through this hit. Hit ah, hit. Okay. So again, Igibukuro Westgate Park, episode 7. Two thumbs up. A solid two thumbs up. Well, no teachers for the next episode because the arc ended there. Yeah, medyo, katakang... Bibitinin tayo eh. Alright? So, let's watch the next episode. Teaser or no, teaser or no teaser? Alright. Noblesse Episode 7. Reminds me a lot of uh, those... Uh, anybody... Anybody still familiar with Archie? I don't know. How to ask, uh, on how we want to ask Veronica or Betty on a date. Parang ganun. Ganito yung problema ni Tashiro dito. Alright. It involved the whole gang. Even Rizel. Even Rizel himself. <clears throat> Rizel went to, went to great lengths as to, uh, as to literally, as to literally, Command Regis to assist Tashiro. We all, we all saw it. Talagang, um, when it comes to Rizel, whatever he says, goes. Regis completely understands this. Okay? Dahil nakita niya yung, yung kapangyarihan ni, ni, ni Rizel sa last, in the last episode. Talagang, he concluded that this is the noblesse. Talagang, kumbaga, ito yung, ito yung pinaka-just na mga noble, si Rizel, the noblesse himself. So, he has no choice but, nung sinabi ni, <clears throat> sinabi ni Rizel na, Regis, assist him. No, siya agad eh. As you wish. <laughs> As you wish. Wow. Okay. For someone as, um, as cold-hearted as Regis, na basa-basa na nasusunod sa isang, nasusunod kay Rizel, that means a lot. Okay? That means a lot as to how much authority, as to how much authority Rizel wields because of him being the noblesse. Dito pinakit, dito niya talaga pinakita pagka noblesse niya. Alright? He got everybody to help Tashiro out with his woman problems. Kasi, Tashiro likes Seira. The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper noble. Okay. Well, aminin, aminin man natin o hindi, maganda si Seira. Alright? Maganda si Seira. So talagang, mabibig, mabibigahan niyang kahit sinong ordinaryong tao. Okay. Tashiro is no exception. But, well, 
Sarah said na you have to be you have to be your true self kasi yun yata ang nakaka yun yata ang nakaka-attract sa kanya bilang babae if uh, if a guy stays true to himself siguro binigyan na siya ng hit and may probably Sarah also likes her Sarah also likes him pero siyempre pangipot muna magpa <clears throat> magpaahirap muna si Tashiro alright typical dating stuff typical dating stuff natawa rin ako yung sa, sa basketball scene alright everybody wanted the ball probably except Ryzen because I think he's the, I think he was the only one that stuck to the plan okay he was the only one who actually stuck to the plan alright so kung sino pa yung pinaka kung sino pa yung pinaka yung pinaka just na mga Nobel siya, siya pa talaga sumunod sa usapan alright just goes to show you how much of how much of a friend Ryzel is despite him being the noblesse okay. but final scene medyo no, um, I felt sad I felt sad for uh, for uh, for the two si Tashra tsaka yung malit na yung malit niyang kaibigan that they had to rewrite their memories again para hindi nila matandaan kung ano yung mga naging kapangyarihan nila yun ang lahat <clears throat> even the enhanced humans even the enhanced humans nila M21, si Takio tsaka si yung tinatawag ni ano na boss yun uh, they had to erase they, they really had to erase and a lot of exact erase we write it again Um, it's a bit sad. I think it's I think it's the saddest moment, uh, the saddest moment right now in the in this anime. But overall, it's a crazy good episode. Okay. Ah, siempre. Alalahan niyo. Frankenstein owns a high school. He owns a prep school. Mga middle school siya. He owns a middle school. Okay. So, siyempre, ang karamihan sa mga pumapasok doon ay teenager. Tashiro is a teenager. A teenager who likes Sarah. Who perfectly passes off as a teenager. No one knows she's immortal. No one knows that she and Regis are immortals. So, they quickly pass off as teenagers. Talagang mukhang mga bata sila. Alright? So, wala eh, talagang ako when I was Tashiro's age 15, 16 I too, I too had woman problems okay? how to approach a girl how to uh, how to even how to even uh, what you call this ask her on a group study Wala, parang ganun eh takot ako makipag-date nun sa magulang ko <laughs> takot ako makipag-date nun right? so the best so the closest thing for me, the closest thing uh, to a date for me was to, how to ask a girl on what she thinks of the of the recent subject. Anong, what uh, what was the what's her favorite TV show? Parang ganon. I too had woman problems, so I sort of related to what Tashiro went through in this episode. I'm a sucker for those eh. I'm a sucker for those kasi I'm 47 eh. So, napagdaan ako na rin yung mga yan. Napagdaan ako na rin lahat yan. Alright? Napagdaan ako lahat yan. So, I kind of, so I, yeah, I, I, I felt for Tashiro when Sarah said that she wants this kind of a man uh, to, uh, to, ha- to, to go out on a date with. Binigyan siya, binigyan siya talaga ng hit ni Sarah kung anong klaseng lalaki, anong klaseng lalaki ang gusto niya. Alright. So I kind of felt for Tashiro uh, when he felt relieved na ganun ang, gust- ganun ang gustong lalaki ni Sarah. Ganun ang hinahanap ni Sarah sa isang, sa isang guy. Yeah. I kind of related. Relate ako. Relate ako sa episode na to. So, 
It's a crazy good episode. Kind of reminiscent of my high school, my high school and college days. Okay. So, noblesse episode seven. Two thumbs up. A a woman problems type of two thumbs up. So, talagang ane. Wiesel has shown, has shown uh, the anime world once again that despite him being an OP lead character, despite him being the god of nobles, he can still go down to humans and be friends with them. Despite him, wow, okay, dapat talaga matas ang airing niya. Normally, dapat matas ang airing niya. Lakas ka, ako kaya pinakamalakas na nobles sa buong kasaysayan. Why should I mingle with you, lowly humans? Parang ganyan yan eh. Parang supposedly. Pero, he chose. He absolutely chose to mingle with, uh, mingle with lowly humans. Because, pro- that's what probably, what makes him, uh, what makes him powerful. Very empowering yung mindset niya. That's what I, that's what I, Notice about the lead character of Noblesse, si Ryzel. So again, Noblesse episode 7, two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. Now, nakita niyo ba yung mga teaser? So, meron palang organisasyon na kasama sila Sarah at Regis. They were actually emissaries to investigate on the loss of Anay. Siguro, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know how dangerous this organization is. It's probably the reason why Regis and Sarah decided not to not to report anymore to them because they have found the noblesse. Sana lang susundin nila. Sana lang they are compelled to follow Ryzel because he is the noblesse. All right. We'll just wait and see for the next episode. I cannot wait. No spoilers, huh? No spoilers. All right. <clears throat> Akudama Drive episodes 6 and 7. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, yun nga lang. There were uh, two crucial highlight highlights. Two quite crucial highlights in both episodes, okay? Sa episode 6, namatay si Brawler. Sa episode 7 naman mas matindi. Nilaglag sila ni Doctor. Alright? So, well, guess we now know who the real scumbag is. Si Doctor. Okay? So, kimento na rin ng dalawang bata kung why are they being sent to Anto. So, we now know. Kansai is... <clears throat> okay. Overall, they are... Um, they're both they're both really good episodes, okay? Both mind blowing. Um, wow, okay. Two crucial points in the storyline. Na pinakita na, 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 na pinakita rito, right? <clears throat> I could not believe, okay? Si Doctor pa ang maglalaglag sa kanila, okay? And after that, and of course, I still couldn't believe Brawler's already dead. Nagpatayan sila talaga ng, 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 ng lalaking executioner. Nagpatayan talaga sila. Until both of them, both of them died. Okay. So, <clears throat> gumanti nga rin si Hoodlum eh. Nakita niyang papel na kaibigan niya, he took the, uh, the down executioner sword, pinagbunto, pinagbunto na naman ng galit niya yung, yung rookie na executioner. Ayun. Ganun dito. Laki sugat dito. Huwag yan, nabuhay pa siya. So, wow. Okay. Pacing, flow, the plot. I'm speechless. Alright. Probably it's, um, what's called this? It's a, uh, it's a good way of, uh, Transitioning from the first half to the second half of the of the series, All right? I say next episode, tiga. 
yeah, the road to fina- the road to the finale will start in the next episode. So, mukhang magandang uh, magandang setup pareho. Now, ah, pero I don't know if you can call that setup episodes, pero ano eh? Mga crucial ano eh? Crucial yung mga nangyari. Okay, crucial yung mga nangyari. Namatay na sila ng isang kasama. Yung isa, pa, yung isa nilang kasama, nilaglag pa sila. She sold them out to the executioners kung, na, kung, nasan, yung, kung nasan sila ngayon. The executioners got, um, got si brother. Okay? We now call him brother. Si brother na kuha nila. Si sister tsaka si ordinary person kasi pinataas niya. Si pinasakay doon sa rocket. Now we don't know what's going to happen now. Episode 8 has been teasered but we generally do not know what is going to what what is really going to happen to those two. Right? So, Ako Dama Drive episodes 6 and 7. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Yeah! And a big toe. Okay? I'll tell you why again. Dahil, well, probably the two most crucial points in the storyline have been told na. The death of Brawler and, well, the treachery of Doctor. Okay? That bitch. <laughs> that bitch. Siya pa maglalaglag. Grabe. Talagang uh, nadala ako sa episode 7 eh. Alright, nadala ako. Uh, nadala ako sa, sa flow ng story. Talagang it's really good. Episode 6 also. Yung, uh, kasi all throughout the episode, sila talagang nagpatayan dito. Si Brawler tsaka yung lalaking executioner. All throughout that episode. Talagang no cliches, no, uh, no, what you call this? No, um, not the usual scripted scripted stuff when it comes to anime fight scenes. Nope. Walang special powers dito. Talagang tagi sa ng lakas. Lakas sa lakas. Lakas sa lakas. Bakal sa bakal. Mga bakal, bakal sa bakal na suntukan talaga nangyari. Until, well, both of them died. Nagkasabay sila ng malakas na suntok. Boom! Patay pareho. Patay sila pareho. So again, Ako Dama Drive Episodes 6 and 7. Two thumbs up. Okay? Maybe we can say two thumbs up each. Okay? Because uh, a because a general two thumbs up rating is not enough. Okay? It's not even enough that I gave that I that I may give the two thumbs up on each one. Uh, these are the two most for me, these are the two most pivotal episodes of this anime. So We'll watch out for the next episode. <sighs> Higurashi 2020, episodes 7 and 8. Parang familiar yung mga ending. <laughs> Parang familiar yung mga ending. Okay, let's let's backtrack a bit, okay? Episode 4, um, Rena and Keiichi kill each other, alright? Okay. Pinapatay ni Rena si Keiichi, but Keiichi survives. Rena doesn't. Keiichi survives. Sa episode 8, kinulong siya ni Mion dun sa parang shelter ng Sonosaki family. Na kasi na, na, nalaman natin pala dito, the Sonosaki family are part of the Yakuza. Okay? Member sila ng Yakuza. Kaya pala ganun... Kaya pala... Kaya pala mapere. Puta Yakuza pala eh. So, kinulong siya sa shelter. And based on the findings ng mga police, she kills everybody except Keiichi. But Keiichi tries to get out. Hindi siya makalabas. Bangga siya ng bangga sa sa iron na pintuan, talaga talaga di bibigay yun. He's a bloody mess when police found him. Pero he survives. 
Putara guys, anong creepiness to? What the fuck did I just watch? Okay? <clears throat> um, Rika gives Keiichi that that uh that demon look nung epi- nung final scene sa episode 7, na creep out talaga ako doon. Na creep out talaga ako doon. Grabe. Considering she's only 10 years old. Tapos may tapos lalabas ang gano'n ng kanyang mata. <laughs> then Neon all of a sudden turns vigilante. Okay, in, in episode 8, she takes out every every member of the the three big families, including yung mga kaibigan nila ni Keiichi. Patay lahat. Rika was found sa septic tank, yung bangkay niya. Si si Sean sa balon bangkay. Then of course, police found um Satoko and Mion um lifeless on the steps of the Sonozaki Mansion yung bahay nila Mion at Sean. Patay pareho. Parang ano yata, parang parang may bala sa katawan. Parang may bala sa katawan. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Can children be this violent? <laughs> okay. I'm beginning to think. I'm beginning to rethink uh, what kind of childhood uh, anybody can ever have. I am beginning to rethink that. Okay, after after what I just saw in episode seven and eight. All right. Overall. Two of the creepiest anime episodes I have... Uh, wow. Two of the most traumatic pala anime episodes I have ever watched. Okay? Flow, pacing... Well, typical of a mini arc. Kasi par- four parts siya. Four parts pala siya. It's typical of a mini arc. Flow and pacing, medyo oh, may kabilisan. Pero yung plot is still there. The, uh, the theme of the anime is still there. Grabe. I thought they were just I thought they I thought they took a break in episodes uh episodes 5 and 6. But no, episode 7 and 8 made up for that. Grabe. Whew. Makes me makes me also wonder if I could uh if I can uh, if I can also watch the original Higurashi. All right? I'm beginning to get that uh, get that inkling. Okay? I'm I'm slowly getting getting that itch to watch the original series. Not for comparison, but um not for comparison, but for well for 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 historical purposes, me being a long time anime fan. Alright? So Higurashi 2020 episodes 7 and 8. Mind you. Combined rating na to. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. A scary two thumbs up! <laughs> Higurashi has done it to me again. Okay? In broad daylight. Okay? In broad daylight. It creeped the shit out of me. Although makita nyo sa... Makita nyo ang facial expressions ko during this stream. Okay? If you don't see it, well, sorry na lang kayo. You can't, you don't read minds, okay? You don't know what was going on inside my brain when I was watching these two episodes. Kaya hindi ako makaimik. Okay? You don't, you didn't see what was going on in this. In my head. Kung ano yung, naki, kung ano yung nakikita ng utak ko sa dalawang episode na yun. Alright? It's not as um it's not as gory as episode 4, yung episode 7 and 8, but ah, the potential for you to lose your mind. Yep, nandun. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Uh, I I haven't watched the original series, okay? Again, 
I have again this okay warning I have not watched the original series yet so that's why I am busy so that's why I am rating this as objectively as possible okay even if I did watch the original series I would not let it influence my rating for this the reboot okay talagang okay mind blowing okay it a few more a few more episodes like this baka sa mental na ako pulutin <laughs> Baka sa meta na ako pulutin ang nanay ko. Okay? So, wow. Alright? It makes, it really makes me, it really makes me think right now as to what kind of childhood anyone can get. Okay? If my, I'm also reassessing my own childhood right now. If it, if it's ruined or not. Alright? So again, Higurashi 2020 episodes 7 and 8 Two thumbs up Right? Two thumbs up The next episode has been teasered okay. We got another mini arc in our hands Right? We all better prepare for this mini arc oh, I'm preparing myself for this mini arc okay. Judging from what I experienced in this one, uh, I want more. <laughs> I want more. But hey, um, we just readjusted the um, the review schedule, so uh, we'll now be updated with Higurashi. Okay, we we are now as updated uh, as updated with this anime uh, as anyone could. Okay, so, kasi na-review na natin ng, ano eh, na-review na natin ng episode 8. So, yep, that makes me, that makes me a little bit excited. Okay, a little bit excited and, yeah, I'm going to prepare for that mini shark. <laughs> mm. Um, I'm almost done, um, uh, uh, editing and uh, I'm about to render this digest so by the time you you see this outro it's already on YouTube but um, oh what time is it now it's 207 a.m. and I just had to grind because I had to meet a dead I had to meet another deadline so well you may have noticed that I've already I've done back-to-back -back episodes of Akodama Drive and Higurashi 2020. The reason why I did that because well I've um, changed my cut off and I'm not going to do these anime episode reviews in one day. All right, my Friday stream. At, uh, over at Twitch has well, suffered greatly because nakain na lahat eh, ng mga episode reviews so I couldn't do other things like um, uh, play uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh! online the uh, the online version for us is Edo Pro I can't I can't practice my text online and I use Edo Pro for that, so I couldn't share it with my Twitch audience. And another thing, I also want to um, just chill, okay? Just chill with my Twitch audience, chat with them, uh, answer their questions about anime, or even business questions, all right, for my main YouTube channel. I couldn't do that because the episode reviews have almost gobbled up uh, <clears throat> the time uh, the time I use for my Friday stream even more. All right, the reviews actually ended uh, this afternoon, Saturday. Right? Oh, it's not it's not Saturday anymore. See, 
I'm no longer aware of the time. It's Sunday, so the reviews actually ended Saturday afternoon. I want to I want to change that so from now on you're going to see if you're on Twitch, you're going to see anime episode reviews every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Since we have 12 animes on the roster, I'm going to review four of them each day. So on Monday it's four, Wednesday it's four, and Friday it's four. Although Friday, rest assured, I will still I will still do those 24 hour streams. All right, so I made it a habit. Monday and Wednesday, well, I'm going to incorporate other things for that, but the main focus are the episode reviews so Monday Wednesday and Friday you're going to see me review animes so I'd rather I'd rather spread them all out in a week than jam them all in one day I've I've had it with that <laughs> I've had it with that but um, for these, so for these changes, I decided to over deliver for you guys. Mga aki mga ka lifestyle. <clears throat> well, the only way to over deliver is to deliver is to is to review back to back episodes of well, probably two of the most underrated animes this fall: Akodama Drive and the Higurashi Reboot. So, in order to meet the adjusted, uh, the adjusted cutoff, and of course to give value to my viewers here on YouTube, that's you, Maka Lifestyle. So, I'm ending this intro with another. Uh, I'm ending this outro with another thank you to you all for uh, watching another digest at this point, and. I am gonna sleep late, but hey, I'm actually listening to an ASMR channel right now on Twitch so that uh, it can help my brain relax, right? It's very relaxing, trust me. So I hope this uh, I hope this new schedule is uh, more will be more suited. For, I I know it will be more suited for me, but. Um, I hope and pray that this that the forthcoming new schedule will be will be suitable for for you all. all right so again thank you and see you next digest don't forget the videos all right <laughs>